the arc of the LEGO run. Uh, but we're going to pick things up with Aquamarine, which is a Fire Red Leaf Green uh, ROM hack. And uh, this is this is a bit of a fun run. Um, I have two people who've never played this game before on commentary. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Alimra. I've commentated this game once before, and it was absolutely fantastic and a fun time. So I volunteer to do it again. Uh, hi, I'm Randall. I have watched this game uh, one time. <laughs> well, actually one and a half times, because there was PSR podcast earlier today. But yeah, I'm doing great. True. And and I am slightly confused already. It's going to be great. It's going to be a fun, fun time, fun ride. Yeah, so this is a hack that came out, I guess the latest version came out end of last year. Um, there's sort of, it's kind of, this front game's kind of interesting. There's nine different sort of variants of it, each corresponding to a different evolution. And I'll just be running on the vanilla aquamarine today. Initially, there was certain versions that worked better for the route, but it turns out all of them are equally good. So I'm just going to stick with this one. Um, yeah. You guys are ready. I'm going to hit... Uh, when I hit new game, that's when we're gonna start time, uh, Ranger. So uh, we'll get we'll count down in three, two, one, go. Okay, so we got the all the usual introductory stuff. Um, right away, we don't see Professor Oak, the mysterious being. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> Still have another hand female though. <laughs> so the big thing about the Aquamarine series is that it's all based around the different evolutions. Um, this Amethyst is specifically like the base ROM for the Espeon version, if I remember correctly. And Aquamarine is one of those offshoots that's all a part of the same base ROM, and they all count for the same leaderboard because uh, the variations on the games are minor enough for them to still be able to count for being a part of the same family of, of fan games. Pretty cool. I did not know about that, but now I do. Also, we are um, trapped in the body of a Mew. Oh, small note, trapped in the body of a Mew, yes. <laughs> Just a small thing that's gonna... <laughs> totally not gonna... We're going to see this for like run necessarily because it's kind of floating and all that. But uh, just usually in tired of the screen, you're walking at this point. We don't do that here. Just wait until you see the uh, fast travel option that we have instead of a bike because there still yeah. is one. <laughs> yes, I've seen it and it's it's truly beautiful. It's adorable. No, we do not catch people humans. These people. Um, so we'll we have a choice to uh, uh, three Pokemon on the table here. EV1, EV2, and EV3, and we will be going with EV3 today, the one on the far right. Do they matter? It does, actually. The um, the rivals team will be different. And, okay. Uh, the evolution will be different, but the um, his other, two of his other party members will be a little more favorable with... Uh, well, I do not want to give this a nickname, so we're just going to... This, anyone who's done RNG Minute for Fire Leaf Green knows it is quite finicky. And uh, those EVs do count as um, adjustments to the uh, Minip that you have to make, and it's a pain in the butt to do. <laughs> for those of you who don't know about manipulation, any sort of action that happens on the screen, which does include NPC movement and other items on the screen, other sprites on the screen, moving in different directions, that changes the RNG value. So every time that you see the EV fidget, that is incrementally changing the RNG values for the game. So it's hideously difficult to actually plan for such a thing when Thank there's you. three lovely little evolution doggos who just don't want to stand still. I don't like this damage I'm doing to this EV. So I'm gonna take take a massive time loss here, and just heal up. Oh gosh, <laughs> I've never seen this. Okay, well that was, was all for nothing. Whatever. Yeah, we're this is a fire is leaf a green one hack, so tackle is not 100% accurate. For better and for worse. I guess just for worse, to be really honest. 
I mean, is Tackle okay. ever really going to be ideal? Pretty good with Stab, but... We can actually yeah, transform I mean... back into human form using a special, like, ability machine, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna bother with that. It's kinda slow. And oh wait, you're back to humans. Whoa! The game... ...that you... ...convince people that you are still human using your incredible psychic powers. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, it's that's not in Fire and Leaf Green. Nope, it's also gonna be a three shot. Thank you, Growl. I'm gonna KO one thing here for a little bit of extra experience. So I've I've been paying attention to the notes and I've watched your your lead up run for the notes on these route changes and if I remember correctly you said that the experience route at the very beginning of the run is incredibly tight compared to what it used to be uh, like, how how scuffed is this uh, experience route <laughs> it's not that bad I just need to get a little bit of extra I'm gonna grab this now before I forget um I just need to get 25 or more EXP from a wild encounter, which is most things on that route. Um, anything level 3 or up will do that. Some yeah, of the level 2s will, at some point, so the Taylor is just fine. Yeah. Um, I will say that this Eevee that I have is minus attack, which yeah, is fantastic. Attack. Um, that's... I would not run this. <laughs> no, that's reset. very much not ideal. <laughs> The good news is that Eevee will be learning a special move in the uh, in the foreseeable future. Yeah, I could have plus special attack actually. Don't know yet, but yeah, looking at your stats, I, I'm I'm guessing plus speed, but I don't really know. And we're not going to be using Eevee this entire time. Uh, minor spoiler alert. I mean, once you see what the main gets turned into, it makes perfect sense why we would be moving to that because it. Our future main is <laughs> yeah. kind of dominant in other categories for other games. <laughs> Just a few. Okay, no encounters. That's really good. One encounter in total is extremely good. Nice. All right, we are All going right. to route go one, shopping. Next Not route one. I'm going to sell Wait, the item I picked up, which is the AP XP really? share. Also, sell menus are very laggy, as you can tell. No EXP share. What the heck? No. <laughs> One of the things that I like most about fan games like this one is all of the little touches to the flavor of the regions that the creators are making. Uh, this particular uh, fan game is based off of Latin America, I believe, um, yeah. and mm -hmm. it is uh, very prominently featuring items such as empanadas, which are our uh, equivalent to the Castelia cone, where it rift stores statuses, correct? Yes, that's correct. Also, we just skipped the first gem. So it's already gone completely off the walls. Wait, what? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I, I vaguely remember this, but what the heck? So, so this... It's... Go ahead, Olympia. Go ahead. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's the same kind of thing that you do in Red and Blue, where if you get a certain dialogue trigger when the person who's supposed to kick you out and say, hey, you need to go back to the first gym, um, it, it kind of overrides that that trigger which allows the process of the game to not fire and you can just be like nope don't get to do the first gym anymore uh get used to seeing that by the way because it'll happen a lot and not just in gyms yeah it's it, you can't do it with regular trainers unfortunately but like anything that like there's a, a, a counter like an encounter type in um interaction where there's no like exclamation point, you can kind of just skip that by making sure timing it so that the repel is refreshed on the uh, on that tile where the trigger would happen. So <laughs> uh, the gym we skipped is a normal gym, and a lot of the Pokemon in that gym have Cute Charm and Sand Attack. So yeah, that's that's kind of why I'm skipping. It kind of sucks. 
if uh, RNG is the bane of every Pokemon speedrunner, those moves significantly make it even more RNG scuffed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this will. Okay, this will. Yeah, this will three shots. Uh, Pineco is uh, treating you well today. I've seen better, but that's definitely better than it can be. Defense, special attack speed, 334. Yeah, still don't know my nature, but we'll find that out eventually. Yeah, that fight's actually not too bad. I thought it would be an extra turn on the spinner rack with minus attack, but it's actually not bad. My attack IV is 19 to 23, which is not terrible. Yeah, I mean, even if you did have a uh, hindering nature on that, which very likely, not likely you do, having an IV that high isn't gonna... It's not, it's not gonna be the literal worst thing. Uh, we got Gary J Games asking, what are the major glitches that are banned in NMG? Um, since this is a, a Fire Red Leaf Green fan game, it's gonna be the majority of the game breaking glitches that are associated with those games, I'm assuming. There aren't really that many in, in Fire Red Leaf Green. It's mainly just Ace, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah. Which, got it. As far as I can tell, really, uh, some pretty we can't really do crazy it. Stuff. So Ace was recently discovered for Fire Leaf Green Vanilla, and you can't really do it because you don't have access to the items and moves that you need to actually do that. But there's probably some way to do it. For those of you who don't know what uh, Ace is, it uh, stands for Arbitrary Code Execution. Uh, it literally means you do a bunch of nonsense to overwrite a bunch of memory values on your cartridge, and it allows you to do something absolutely completely insane in the game like teleporting yourself into the Hall of Fame room at the end of uh, Red and Blue. Nice repel yeah. into immediate encounter. Yeah, so this is um, this is interesting. So I have repelled, and I am repelling away some encounters, but not all. I have did a bunch of testing, and it is statistically worth it to repel here, even though I'm still getting encounters, because the encounter... I would, But this is this is actually very uncharacteristically bad, because I normally do not have this many encounters by now. Oh my gosh. Usually one. But, typical marathon luck. Shoutouts to A.A. Ron here. <laughs> what, did, what was that weird portal thingy there? We're about to go into so, the past. Yep, uh, part yeah. of the lore of this game is that uh, as Mew, you get to see these time portals, which will allow you to go millions of years into the past. And this is where we're going to be picking up a leaf stone for some fairly obvious uh, evolution in the future. Oh, sweet. We're going to get a uh, vile plane? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sh shout outs to the uh, shiny bell sprout uh, from the uh, from the let's go race. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so actually, all the, you, all, the, all, a lot yeah. of the evolutionary stones are available here if you go into the portals, but this is the fastest one to get, and it's by far the best one to get, because we're about to find to pick up a TM that's pretty good. Uh, I don't need to talk to you. I could have done it, that's fine. There are a few nurses around as well, which are pretty nifty. Shoutouts to Mockwing every time uh, Teddy Ursa shows up. Oh, look at that. It's Energy Ball. Whoa! If if only there was a Leaf Stone in our possession. Oh, wait. Wait. Really? Just, just slowly get more and more excited. Oh, you know what we forgot to shout out? The one rare candy pickup that was actually two rare candies. Yeah, what? it doesn't say two, but there is two. Yeah. The uh, rare candy that we picked up just a little bit ago before we uh, traveled back to the past. Um, it was a singular rare candy pickup on the menu display, but we have two rare candies in the menu now. Oh my god, Randall won slots. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Triple helix! Raise it. There actually is a helix fossil in here. Um... And I do have to pick up a fossil. Spoiler alert. 
And I'm not sure which one is the Helix, but I will pick up the one I don't normally pick up. The one I normally pick up is the Old Amber. But we might pick up the Helix Fossil. I'm actually going to heal. <laughs> nice. So... We kind of talked a little bit about uh, the Energy Ball and the attack value that we have. Um, we do have oh, nice. our lovely Leafeon, and Leafeon is typically a physical attacker, but even with uh, having a, a kind of diminished special attack in comparison to its naturally high physical attack, uh, most of the mons that we're going to be fighting are going to be times four weak to energy ball or generally neutral, and the higher than you would normally have power of energy ball in the early game, makes it significantly better than most of the other uh, actions that we would be getting for Leafeon until it's time to say goodbye to our good friend. Yeah. I have getting a modest early. Leafeon. <laughs> exact opposite yeah. of what's optimal. It is modest. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Dang. Yeah, Leafeon only has 60 base special attack, but Energy Ball is 90 power, so it's quite good. Yeah. <laughs> Getting an early power spike like this is just insane. And you see it in a lot of the games, such as like Red, Yellow, and some of the other games. Yeah, Gen 8 is a huge one, the crazy early power spikes. Team Tactics? Is that, so am you're going to see something that's going to be awesome here in a second. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm not actually ready. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Two yep. leaf uh, So this looks really OP. Ooh, I crit the Zubat. That's kind of nice. Um, oh, and I crit the Rattata as well. Sure. Oh my Let's god, go. Leech Life. So Leech Life is 80 base power, by the way. This has got some later gen mechanics. Really do not want to... Uh, and oh. then, and I may not KO this Zubat now. So while cool. Iron is handling his Zubat and Rattata issue, um, the base ROM that is uh, the fan game is built off of has this oh. very interesting mechanic about it, where it tries to force your Pokemon to exist in a double battle when you only have one Pokemon in your possession. So, whereas in other games, it would prevent you from having that as a double and instead force you into single battles. Uh, instead, the game's just like, no, we're just going to dupe your Mon. And by the way, if you enter into your menu to try to target it with anything or use any items that uh, would cause you to look at your Pokemon menu, uh, we're just going to crash and you'll have to deal with it. So, yeah, the will be dead. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's a very high risk, high reward strategy where you're essentially just using your overpowered Mon to bully all of the uh, definitely not Team Rocket members, uh, which will it's always be double battles. <laughs> Cyndaquil's, yeah, Cyndaquil's not going to die here. It has. Oh, I got the flinch. Okay, sure. <laughs> Let's go! It, it has Smokescreen and Ember. Ember can burn, Smokescreen can do bad things. Protagonist view you used hallucinate. Just don't look too closely at that second Leafeon. <laughs> now there's three. Even better. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot of experience from the Ditto now because it is transformed, and Leafeon has a high EXP curve. Oh, that's so sick. Or EXP yield, I should say. Ooh, I got the flinch. Uh, also, that one thing to point out in the previous fight is I got confused. But the Leafeon that got confused was not the one that went first, so I was fine. <laughs> how do you even so? I've, how uh, do you even tell what what's getting hit? Or you don't. <laughs> <laughs> when when Iron ran this for uh, No Star Wars Allowed on the No Glitches Allowed uh, channel, like there was a lot of really weird stuff that uh, even Iron hadn't seen going on. And <laughs> at some point in time, we were just throwing our hands up and saying Wizards did it. Fair. Alright, Magnemite will be range as well. Because I know in in Sapphire Maybe Emerald, not. like a lot of runners like name, cast form, and mudkip different things, like A and B, for example, so that they can actually tell them apart during the double battles. But 
here yeah, is it's, it's, it's getting doomed. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh. If if we did end up uh, naming Leafeon into anything else, uh, say A for example, we would have two A Leafeons. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, one other thing to point out is the trainers in this game, kind of like we saw with um, with the Infinity Run that Garf did earlier, is trainers have random natures on their Pokémon and random abilities. Remember the random abilities for later. It is going to come in very yeah, important. Very, very relevant. Random abilities. Okay, let's pick this fossil. It's the Dome Fossil! No! <laughs> no! Alright, this runs okay. first. It's okay, I'll pick up the heal. There's a helix up here. I'll pick that up instead. I, didn't, I couldn't remember which one was which. But this is this is because Randall won slots. That's the claw fossil. Okay, I'm don't know I don't know this game at all. <laughs> Surely that's the Helix fossil. No, it's not. Oh, okay. okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done memeing. Well, let's let's play Pokemon. I can't sell the fossils in this game, so uh, yeah, I have a few things to toss. You can't sell fossils in this one. It's time, yeah. it's time to get on the get on the scooter. <laughs> Let's get some pipe for the scooter. <laughs> yep, the bike shop it's scooter built. time. The most oh, adorable okay. thing in existence. Just you on a razor scooter. <laughs> the freaking stick. Uh... At least that's my opinion. <laughs> We're going to be coming up against a couple of those uh, uh, scripted fights that we're going to be skipping the same way that we skipped first gym in just a second. Um, there's going to be a lot of them because our rival's kind of a bit of a jerk and we really don't want to have to deal with him too much. Yeah, we're going, we're playing like the pacifist route of the game. And whenever we don't have to actually go fight people, that is going to be preferable. So yeah, shoutouts to the scooter. Also, shoutouts to skipping Rival 2. Oh, goodbye right Rival. There. So I repelled in the bike shop and did a, took a few extra tiles and lined up my steps so that I could refresh the repel on the tile that triggers, triggers the Rival fight. Uh, Everyone the problem say is. Say hi to Turo, by the way. Oh yeah, this is Turo. Uh, we won't oh see Seda, unfortunately. The best, uh, the best professor, Turo, Scarlet no, Violet. In person. <gasps> oh. Because she's in like Cinnabar Island, and we won't go there in this run. Spoiler alert. Let's go. All right, Turo looks looks great in pixelated form. You really can tell all of those pixels <laughs> on his beard. Do we have to uh, skip Rival on the way back, by the way? Is this the one that we have to... We definitely need to. <laughs> okay. I was. I remember that there was one we ended up having to skip twice, and I couldn't remember oh, yeah. if this was if it was this one or if it was a later one. Dole fry. This is the one fake mon we're gonna see in the run, and we'll see it twice because this guy's got two of them. Uh, male and female variant. Yep. Oh, nice. I'm partial to the female oh. variant. It looks cuter. Here's the advantages of having plus special attack. Yep, the range is few, a bit better. few and far between, but this one's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to do some kind of specific movement here. Okay, we skip the rival again. Let's go. And we're going to go into the gym. Woo! Our first gym. Definitely the very first one we could have gone to. Yeah, no, this and... is the first gym badge. Oh, uh, look at that. We definitely. <laughs> I mean, we know our tight matchups, so uh, shout outs to Hop. Yep. And uh, definitely not a uh, a gym layout we could have possibly seen in another game ever. Yeah, no, this looks suspiciously like a lifted design for the gym, but you know what? We're gonna we're just gonna let let the architect off with this. 
No, I, I can't skip normal trainers, Pat. Can't go to the left? If you could, that would be extremely broken. <laughs> But yeah. In Fire Leaf Green, you only have to fight the gym leader in this gym, so I guess you actually have to go fight all of these fights. Admittedly, it's a leaf yeah. run. It's kind of easy to handle everything in here. It's a good yeah, place I need to get a little bit of extra experience. Yeah. I need some experience to fight the gym leader, and also um, for later when I'm going to be hunting for my new main. Because uh, Gym Leader Kitty does have. One mon that's a little, little dicey. Kitty? Yep. Definitely not brunette Misty. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not red Misty. <laughs> I was, I was hoping we would get like some cat Pokemon on this fight, personally. Like, uh, we get a bunch of things that cats want to eat. We named Kitty. <laughs> All right, so I have do not know if this next mod will die to bite, but I'm fairly fairly confident because I have pretty good ID. No, I tail whipped it. Okay, this <laughs> might be interesting. Well, now it definitely will die to bite. <laughs> Use rain dance. I think it has swift swim. I don't know why I it's getting, my buttons are getting eaten right now. Yeah, you weren't going to attack, right? Oh, you were gonna attack. Okay, well. It's okay. I'm just, I'm just stalling out the rain. Everything is actually fine. valid. No, this is something what? that does not happen. No way. Oh. <laughs> this is actually quite bad. Please, please, thank you. Okay, minus two defense. It surely will die. Goodbye. Om nom nom. All right, so this Vaporeon mm -hmm. is going to be a two-shot. It also has Water Pulse. Pretty Brit. Oh, hey, it's okay, we did not on. get confused, and the rain stopped. So, Heck yeah. took a little while, but we got her done. And oh, that will be the last... Yeah. Sorry, that will be the last fight for Leafeon. All right. <laughs> Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, if if you know what we're going towards, then you know why we want to we want to dump the leafy on as fast as possible. Much stronger Pokemon await. And we get Scald, which is kind of nice, but not useful. What? We're not using a water type? Doesn't every Pokemon no, speedrun use a water type? That's actually not true, but like I'm going to pretend it is true. A lot of them do, yes. So we are now going to make our way back to this town and do a little shop little shopping trip. Wait, you can just do that to go back? Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> the boat is here. Uh, three of you. Shoutouts to the empanada. Best item in the game. No, I don't know what it does, but I'm sure it's good. Uh, full heal. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, another repel in a really weird spot. That can only mean one thing. Skipping things! Time to repel all of our non-existent encounters. To be fair, repelling away a fight is... I feel like you're getting some good value out of that. <laughs> this, this fight in particular that we're setting up the repel for is significantly cursed from what Iron has told me. And I do say that specifically from what Iron has told me because I have not seen this fight and how horrific it actually could be. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, so we just skipped the Whoa! boat rival. And we're going to have to skip him again. And I'm going to be counting to 14 <laughs> here after I'm done talking to the captain. <laughs> yes. It's time for some content. Imagine if they imagine if you only had like max repels for this stage in the game. Oh, that would be so awful trying to set that up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm just gonna take this kinda slowly. 
Okay, All we can right. breathe a bit Let's easier see. now. Can we get it? Let's go! Alright. Nicely done. Are you guys not watching a, uh, a feed? It's more... Yeah, I'm watching the Twitch stream. <laughs> not gonna lie. Yeah, it's, we're about 30 seconds behind. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty rough. Okay. I mean, it's not that bad. I, I'm at an advantage because I've at least I've seen most of this run in a, in some various parts of the state. Like, nothing's really deviated too terribly from what I've seen there previously. You go. Let's go. I gave them a live feed. Heck yeah! Whoa, okay, what the heck? We've gone so much farther. Uh, I'm, I'm Alright, we are now going to go hunt for our new main. Uh, this is the most... One of Wait, the most RNG heavy parts of the run. When did you get Ready cut? Uh, but yeah. old man. Oh, okay. Okay, we have an encounter. What do we Let's got? see what it is. Okay. Whoa, it's a drill burr. It's too low level, though. No. Oh, okay. No. That is a poopy drill burr. Yeah, we need we need a higher level drill burr to, to, because it's time to do it. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. It's the 31. If, if I get yeah. it, it's good. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to our backup. That was uh, that was really quick. That's why that's why X control is not good. <laughs> Drilled live. Okay, well, we've made it. To, we made it to, okay, we, okay, we've made it to the other side, and Let's we have a drill. Go. So. drill. We all saw nothing. We got it. We got a drill burr and not an that's extra pretty. drill, and everything was fine. <laughs> That that was that was that was some real uh, cinema, if you ask me. So we have a level thirty drill bird, which is the best drill bird to get, other than the, the extra drill. The extra drill is a pain to catch because it has horn drill. <laughs> so don't get hit by horn drill. I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> oh, that was he sucks to suck button. <laughs> oh hey, it's time to start gambling. Let's go. I mean. Don't, don't gamble, kids. Unless you're playing slots and your name is Randall and you get Give triple slot. helix and win slots. <laughs> In fact, let's do that again. Never mind. <laughs> I just got 4,000 coins from that lady for free and we're going to use them right away. Real generous friendo. Get oh, iron hey, Ironhead. Shouts to Iron. Uh, we're gonna do you. PSRM. Nice. Yeah, so, continuing with the early game power spikes, not only did we get Energy Ball incredibly early, but Iron Head is an absolute godsend so early on this run. Shout out to Iron's head, honestly. 30 on minus. Like, in my head cannon is, uh, we're just gonna be throwing iron at people now, and he's just gonna headbutt everybody in the game. Yeah. Does, oh, so does may... exactly what it says on the tin. You may have saw that I had a lucky egg. Um, the Eevee that I started with came with a lucky egg. Uh, nice. I get rid of that. From one steel move to another. Shoutouts to Imposter. Is that... What is that again? Oh, it's where you can transform into a human. Ah. Alright, we're against the yeah. evil team again. Team Tactics. And yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, sweet. Two Excadrill. <laughs> Okay, it's it it's always okay. so fun to see this glitch in action. Uh, it's because it's it's absolutely absurd in some of the situations that you're able to to put yourself into to get such massively favorable outcomes. All right, that dig is doing nothing. <laughs> uh, Shoutouts to random sturdy. Oh, wait, how did? Uh, he, he used it, it door, didn't he? Yeah, it used it. it. Well, it didn't have it. No, it had sturdy. It detected again. <laughs> Stop. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
It's fine. It's just minor time loss. I mean, it's still not as bad as the Pineco. No. That Pineco is a menace to society. Oh, yeah. That's this game's Pelipper. Please tell me there's no Pelippers in this game. Uh... Honestly, I don't remember. Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, it's time to go take on Team Tactics. I can't wait for me to play a Kanto game and then just call it Team Tactics and have no idea oh, what the I... heck's going on. <laughs> yes, this is very similar to uh, the, the hideout in Kanto. So all the balls are great balls. I guess yeah. we really like the light blue color that is also Mew's hat. I think Mew looks cute with a hat. I don't it mind that. Horrible. The hat and the scooter. It's, it's oh, it's a shiny! Living. Shiny! <laughs> Holy moly, what is this? Holy shiny. Total, totally full odds shiny on this uh, trainer, right? <laughs> no. It's scripted. really built different. Yeah. It's it's absolutely scripted. <laughs> Dang it, Tanner. Yeah, so the we, rival we should... and the team tactics trainers have shinies. Is it just me or does the team tactics get up look almost like an apron? It does look very scientific. It looks like it looks it looks like they're all like cooks. So I see it more like lab coats than than chef apron. Mm hmm. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. That 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 makes more sense because they are, after all, up to no good. That being said, though, if ever I make a fan game, I'm absolutely going to have my entire evil team be uh, battle chefs because they're always cooking something. Okay, wait, no, look at this. This le legit just looks like an apron. I oh, guess I, I, I guess now it looks like... Uh... Oh, another shiny. Oh, hey, another shiny. Uh, I guess it now looks more like uh, what's its face. Spine, rock slide, slash Because it's got the lapels on the, on the lab coat. Yeah, now it looks like a lab coat. Also, I just realized the next gym that we fight is my absolute favorite gym in the entire run. <laughs> Yo? Yeah, it's great. I have I have so much to talk about from this gym when we get there. Okay, Dragon Rage does a lot. I, I mean, it is like 40 HP, but it looks so much scarier. Gibble down. This is fine. Uh, We've got a fistful more trainers before we come up to the the boss of this segment. I love how the second Excadrill doesn't like gain the experience, but then like it's just gonna catch up when you send it out into the next fight. <laughs> Could you imagine if they were treated as fully separate instances and also gained experience as well? The Whoa. level of power leveling that you would get would be absolutely bonkers. Oh my gosh, two dittos. And they're not the same color. No, yeah, they... not Mew siblings. <laughs> oh yeah, if you think about it from that standpoint, this is kind of messed up to just throw Mew's family at Mew. To be fair, throwing my family at me is super effective, so I understand. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, we're gonna pop that Moo Moo milk. Not often you see that in a Pokemon speedrun. Moon balls? <laughs> yep. All right. They're effectively dusk balls. Ah. Uh, it is nighttime, by the way. It may not look like it, but it is. 
We have 15 what? of them, and that's significant. Hello, Dr. Mima. Whoa! <gasps> Double Ooh, shine. shiny. Imagine if you could. Imagine if you got a shiny drill, and you just send out two every battle, and, and it's just Ooh, a full okay. shiny battle. Okay, well, that's nice. Hey yo! That is a range. Shiny. <gasps> Another shiny. Shiny Murkrow is so. Pretty. I don't quite live. Yeah. I would say getting a shiny X drill for the majority of the run that would be kind of pain. Like, if the amount of time that you would continue to lose from the shiny particles every time they would come out. <laughs> yeah, it would oh, be free the time loss. <laughs> oh, my That's a, that a really good Dr. Mina. The fight can go poorly? Uh, the Murkrow could be a range, depending on single target rock slide uh, and stat values. Uh, and then you could end up having a speed type with Zerua and the Murkrow as well. Um, it, it couldn't go... It, it's unlikely to take a loss there from, from what I've seen, but it's, it's still a risk in some extent. <laughs> Gotcha. Also, shoutouts to the love balls. Less than three. Less than three. But it looks ah. like, uh, in terms of plot stuff, it looks like Dr. Mima's uh, Zorua just like harvested some like DNA sample from you. I saw a Machu Picchu yeah, that in the text. Right. I don't really know what that means. What You'll, they're doing we'll see later. at Machu Picchu. We're going to be visiting Barbara. Machu Picchu. Oh my gosh. Abra and Mew? It's just the teleport squad. <laughs> Is it gonna be a, an Eevee at the top, just like, in the lab? <laughs> Actually, it is! <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck is going on? Yep, our cup runneth over with Eevees. Not only we have the leaf yum, <laughs> but we're gonna be doing something else with this particular Eevee. Alright, we want to catch something here. And this is perfect! Let's fucking go! Sorry, but- Wow! Oh, First I mean, I, I, I'm, encounter. I'm gonna, get I'm gonna get banned now, I'm sorry. No! Rip, uh, rip the- rip the- rip this run. We don't have a runner anymore. Uh, we, we need we need to pull a chat. Can someone take over? I mean, if oh, you've seen the boy. the trailer for this marathon, there there might have been a couple of flurble moments as well. So I don't think you're going to be in too big of a trouble, Iron. <laughs> I'm actually going to KO one more thing as well. I think Amber swore in the uh, Scarlet Violet race. What the heck? Oh, look at this. Oh, hey, it's Evie. Okay, All right, bye. murder this thing. Get him. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, Evie. Yeah, I need a little bit of extra experience for uh, a threshold later. So I need to buy... Ball guy. So that, that buttons up all of our catches, if I remember correctly. That is correct. Uh, I love my vitamins. Oh, I need to buy really. buy stuff here. Whoops. So I'm gonna buy a choice scarf. Ooh. And an ability capsule. I should probably know what an ability capsule is, but I don't. What is an ability capsule? Oh, it allows you to change the ability of a Pokemon to its other ability. Okay. That's specifically for the Snubble. Yeah, the oh, Snubble didn't have intimidate. You actually wanted to intimidate. Yeah. But it's a 10% encounter, so I'm not, and Growlithe is also a 10% encounter, and I've wasted so many encounters just seeing millions of EVs, so I don't want to deal with that. So it's just no, better to catch. You, you see first encounter Snubble, you take first encounter Snubble. Doesn't matter if it's optimal or not. It just needs to be there, and you can, you can do what's deal necessary with... oh, in order to make it work for you. There we go. 
So one of those things that we talked about, about the uh, duplication glitch for our mains in the double battles, we mentioned that as long as you don't go into your menu for your Pokemon and try to do something in that screen, uh, the game doesn't crash horrifically, which does make it very difficult for X items to be used during the run. However, when it comes to guard spec, it does not go into that screen. It is now just immediately being applied to your entire party, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, so that guard spec is going to be very clutch in the future. Whoa. It's, uh, they were talking about the grass type there in the text, and now it's time to just send out ice types. So here's yep, the people. fun thing about this gym. I'm super excited about this gym because it's not just a, a, a grass gym, it's also an ice gym. It's super cool to have like this dual type gym where you have to deal with uh, the the plate spinning of dealing with one type versus the other. Uh, yeah, you could just have a fire type walk through most of this. Uh, it's, seal could give you a little bit of a hard time, but for the most part, uh, we're going in here with our lovely Excadrill, and we're going to be seeing a few different trainers. Um, Beauty is not the worst of the ones that you could end up with. Uh, it's actually uh, <laughs> another trainer. But now we're going to be fighting Gym Leader Lechuga, which is in Spanish yeah. for lettuce. Yeah. And it's absolutely fantastic that first he's in a palette swapped Lance Sprite, but also it's a nod to the fact that his ice grass gym his name is lettuce for being iceberg lettuce. <laughs> There's All right, that's interesting. Oh, that makes sense. Play. There's layers I'm of so play with this gym. This stupid thing off our screen. There we go. Thank so you. So we talked about how we talked about trainers. How trainers have random natures. Uh, that Ivysaur was plus defense because with my attack. It is a 96% range, assuming it could be minus defense, it could be plus defense. So that means it is a 12 and 16 with plus defense. So I still hit the range. There's still a range to die. So this Leafeon is, will be faster than me now because it has a great ability called Chlorophyll. This is very scary, actually. Ow. Yeah, the the Leafeon is actually the biggest problem. The sunlight has faded. It's still faster? Oh. What? Um, that should not be the case. Great, great, wow. great. Um, yeah, I have to you. heal. This is really strange. It should not still be faster than me. It's gonna go for dig again. Okay, so actually Yeah, this is fine. Oh, you speed tied. I wouldn't be speed. shouldn't be speed tied. Oh my god, stop! I should have gone for Iron Net. This may not kill. We're good? Okay. Oh, we're good. We're fine. So there's the lettuce, and we're gonna see the iceberg here in a second. Ooh, nice. It has snow warning. Now remember that for later. It may not seem it may relevant. It may not be a quiz. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay. Nice. Yeah. The veggie Congrats. badge. Um, <laughs> the veggie badge. Nice. This gym is just so charming, and the so the weird. creator... I You could tell the creator just had a blast making this gym. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, heading on over to... Well, I don't. I don't really know the layout of this place. So I don't really know where we're going right now. Well, we're done with the gym, so we're going to be going to the Laniakea River. Uh, ability uh, capsule on you. Nice. And we have intimidate. Oh, and we're oh, going to get another shiny. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> nice. We got a shiny of our own now. What? Uh, oh, also, yeah. Also, uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. fun fact: if you pick up a Stardust on the ground, the next encounter you get will be sh is a guaranteed shiny. So I could technically force a shiny Drillbird for the marathon by doing that. That's but, the uh, real strats. 
I can't believe then, you didn't do that. And, oh yeah, dude. Yes. You should have. You should have totally activated did. it so you could die to a uh, <laughs> a shiny Excadrill. You also totally got me with that. I completely forgot that that Eevee is always shiny at the top of the uh, huh. department store. So yeah, making sure these spinners don't troll. Yeah, the other, the first few are walkers, but they can walk down. They can see, they'll see if they walk down. Yeah, it's time to get rid of our party. Oh no, what what is this Abra gonna do? Actually, never mind. Coming back. Yep. No, we need the Abra for a very specific reason coming up. Turns out. The one move that it has is 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 actually a useful one item. Nice uh speck of dust that it turns out to be a rare candy. <laughs> Ow. Oh, and <laughs> max re max revive. That, that's surely helpful. <laughs> Oh hey, we're in uh, Lambert's town now. Except it's much beachy. Yep. And instead of going up the Pokemon Tower, we're going down the Pokemon Tower and skipping Rival because he's a jerk. Oh, nah. Let's count one. Oh no. Two. Oh no. Three. <laughs> four. Five. Six. Seven. I'm gonna go a little bit less here. Eight. Nine. And then I'm gonna the step while refreshing and I need to be perfect here in movement. Just gonna be extra careful. Okay. This is every time you have to do those it's so like stressful for me. <laughs> I'm, watching it, I'm, I'm also, like, oh, I'm also taking my time doing it too. I'm not rushing it. Like, I'm stopping quickly and then So you ended up skipping two trainers there, right? You got uh, rival, and then there was a second one. No, you're setting no. up for another one later. That's what it was. Yeah, I'm skipping, no, I skipped rival, and I'm skipping something else later. Mm -hmm. Oh, detect oh, Abra. again. Hello, Pelfrey. I hate Sableye. <laughs> Abra has, has performed its task. Death fodder. One of its tasks. Yeah. Oh hey, Swords Dance! Oh never mind. You do not need more. that. <laughs> no. I need so, all Swords four. Swords Dance is not the sauce. Yeah, Swords Dance is very saucy in other Excadrill uh, runs. It feels so weird knowing you can actually run in this area. Yeah, it's a nice, a nice quality of life improvement to the hack. All right, this thing I normally would rock slide, and you know we all know rock slide is has got the best accuracy. So I'm just going to use dig. It's, it's going to be a one turn slower, but I'm not going to be dealing with nonsense. It has Will O Wisp and it has Ember. They both could burn. Fire spin would have been okay though, although slow. Definitely, definitely don't blame you for taking it a little bit safer on that one. <laughs> Okay. This thing can be a damage range as well, but fairly likely to die. And it lived! I should not have spoken. Um, let's use this. That was a 94% range. So a 10 and 16, and it had plus defense. Just say it's plus defense and you'll feel better, Kappa. <laughs> yeah. They do have random natures, so that is actually potentially a thing. Whoa! And that's the skip. What did you? What is it? Don't you have that is this? A, that okay. ghost is a level one hundred Mew, or not Mew? Ooh. Ditto. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Close. Yep. Uh, it's a bit of a pain to be. Yeah. You can kind of cheese it by switching. If you switch to Glaceon, it, the fight will just end. But I don't want Glaceon, specifically because I want to be doubling up on my Excadrills here. And that's also why I knocked out the Abra. 
because even if the Abra is fainted, uh, it still turns, checks for the two Mons, doesn't find two valid Mons, and it'll continue with the Duke. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good, Taz. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah, I got pretty unlucky there. Um, well, the Grovile is very likely to speed, and then oh, I need to just Iron Head this thing. Surely, two Iron Heads does the trick. Like, two X Scissors can also do the trick too, but I'm just gonna mash a. Yeah, I'm going to do a safety heal here. You do have a, a couple of interesting fights about ready to happen. Oh, hey, it's the rival. Yeah, he uh, he's here now. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's being a helper for, for now. He no, no rapid spin now. on the Excadrill. Uh, yeah, my notes say there's a f version of this fight that's safer, but this is probably still better. Okay, can I have nice you recover? Nice HP recover. You love to see it. Good job. The Kadabra can hit pretty hard. So can the and the Litwick obviously can do things with fire moves. So that was a good good uh, one turn fight. Yeah, that's absolutely what you want to see in this instance. Uh, I am gonna save dumb. for the next fight though. <laughs> Kadabra being dumb and Litwick just. Just taking a rock slide to the face. All right, I'm gonna save here. This next fight usually goes okay, but if it goes badly, it can go very badly. Yeah, the first two fights seem pretty easy. This one's he's got a lot of really good mons, and they have a lot of nasty moves. Oh gosh, yeah, this so doesn't... these Pokemon have moves that can drop accuracy. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use pop that guard spec. So I'm gonna dig you, and I'm gonna use go to the bag. Not use an item on my Pokemon. If I do, then um, the game will crash. Yep. Okay, there's the smoke screen. Perfect. Does nothing. And then dig you. I love what's targeting the mon that's underground. Target the underground mon. Okay, this fight should be fine now. Down. Yeah, because Frogadier has smoke screen as well, and this could end up getting really scuffed if uh, Combuskin and Frogadier start going off the chain. I love just spamming Dig. Yeah, the Frogadier has um, substitute as well, and that can waste some time. But not even if this fight's the substitute. Yeah, this fight's pretty much done. I feel like I'm watching Colo with the amount of digs and dig cheese <laughs> we're getting here. There's something oddly uh, satisfying about seeing I, the, like one go down and the other one come back up just as the other one goes down. So yeah. we have a question in the chat, why dig over Earthquake? I learned Earthquake at level 44. So we Coming won't up. be getting it. And you're going to be smacking your own teammates really hard. Okay, this is kind of new for the route. Blimmer will not have seen this these next uh, little bits before. Yeah, I'm excited. But I am. My step count still matters. We'll just say that. Let's go. More strange skips. Also, Mr. Fuji likes to talk in this game. I mean, he's he's a oh my gosh. 35 year old boomer in this world. So. <laughs> There we go. All right, now he's done talking. Oh, we get a pan flute. I'm just going to run into the shop here. I don't want to... Let's go to the mall. Uh, I'm actually going to buy a couple less, actually. I'll buy one of these. Shout out to the, uh, the bitter items that are strictly better in every way, except for making your Pokemon hate you. How yeah, I don't could really. You? I don't really care about my uh, Axedril's happiness, unfortunately. Oh, what the? 
That looks so weird. That fog transition is trippy when it's fading in and out like that. <laughs> like that's just lag, right? You're not just stopping, right? Oh, I'm I'm stopping. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah, because I, I the D-pad's kind of weird on my controller, and I don't want to like accidentally go up or down because then I have to adjust on the fly, and that really sucks. Oh yeah, no, that's that's cool. Yeah. So I might not know exactly why Iron is setting up the steps the way that he is, but I know that it's going to be to skip someone very unpleasant. <laughs> Mirror B? Yeah, we're not going to fight him. Mirror B? We're actually, yeah, it is Mirror B. We're not going to fight him, though. We're going to fight this Ninja Boy instead. Lame. A man, Ninja Uh, no, I, I only buy repels. <laughs> Regular ones. Yeah, we need to be using the repels for skips as well as repelling stuff away. So. And the and the reason for that is we that, have... spoiler alert, I'm not going to get that many badges, so I can't really buy better repels anyway, because the shops are sort of upgrade, depending on the badges also, you have. Also, yes, Tajara, that was Mr. Pokeball, um, and we also saw the male professor from Scarvi for a moment as well. And glorious pixelated format. With the beard that you could lose a badger in. Yeah. Yep. And you might be wondering why I'm fighting this guy. He's an optional. Um, you definitely do not need to fight him. Too. First of all, he gives a ton of experience because I one shot all of his Pokemon. And um, mm -hmm. he also gives me a nice item at the end. Also, all of his Pokemon have something in common. Okay, you tell me what that is. Can anyone tell me? Looking at the you encounter might get a list on the notes, you, you, and you might you might get a hint after the uh, after the fight's over. Uh, they have evasion moves. Nope. No. For a second, I was like, they start their names start with G, and then I thought of Frogadier. I'm like, wait, no, that's not a G. They actually don't all faint iron head. Frogadier and Pikachu do not. All right, so we got a Carbos from that guy, so that might help. I, I don't get it. I don't know. They all, oh, they all give speedy EVs. Oh, yeah. No, I was oh, actually just it. talking to Gary J about this um, a little bit ago. I'm absolutely trash not paying attention to EVs. All right. This oh, uh, <laughs> that's fine. We do this. Yeah. What? Trust. Oh. Oh, okay. oh, we didn't pick up. We didn't pick up the the equivalent of the T earlier. And if we do that, it's actually faster than picking that up. Picking up the T. All right, now the skip. Oh, now we're on Route Six. Okay. Yeah, we're not. We're not gonna be looking for Growlithe today. And now we're in Comets. Now we're in Fuchsia. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, now I'm, I'm seeing I'm... things that are familiar, because I remember you coming here, and I remember you getting that rare candy, so this is starting to feel familiar. Here's the Safari Zone. Super happy fun time. We can actually skip paying for Safari Zone. The problem is you can't exit the Safari Zone using the Retire option. So you'd have to fly out. Or teleport out, and neither of them, we or run out, and we don't really want to do any of them because they're slow, or they we can't fly, or teleport is super slow. So we don't skip that. Uh, the fun thing about doing that, though, is we can actually catch the Pokemon here with regular Pokeballs, which is kind of cool. Oh, so you can use the upgraded stuff. And you don't need, and you don't have to worry about Pokemon guy. fleeing from you. Oh, hey, a protein. A cancel. The god item has arrived. Uh, but back to the speed EVs. Um, we really need to get speed EVs in this run. It allows me to run... It, I think it allows me to run this specific speed on this drill burst. Um, it allows me to run more drill burst, and I do need more experience anyway, so it just works out as a really good fight to get experience. All right, now we've got strength. And another rare candy. Put, and putting the old man with his gold teeth in the safari zone instead of outside for a change. Wait, surf. Or don't worry, we're getting there. Okay. <laughs> I 
Oh hey. So it 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 stands to uh to reason that if strength is in the place where surf usually is, maybe surf <laughs> is where strength is. <laughs> Imagine using your your sense, your, your using logic. Nah. All right, let's go fight uh, whatever Koga is in this game. Are we fighting whatever Koga is in this game? Yep, we are. Oh, this is a fighting gym. Wait, what? No, it's what? not. It's not. What is this? All right. This is the fairy gym. <laughs> okay. Once again, we know our tight matchups. I looked at our. I looked at the like this game's version of Kogan. I'm like, oh, this looks like a. This looks like Bruno. This oh, is it's a fighting absolutely gym. Bruno. Bruno has the fairy gym, and it's. A I'm living for it. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. So we're gonna use all but one of these candies. Oh, hey, Earthquake. Also, we didn't talk about what my nature is on this Drillbert. It is a sassy nature, so it's minus speed plus special defense. But the speed has got a, it's a really good IV. It's 30 IV, so it's totally suitable for the run. Its attack is also like 26 to 27, which is pretty solid. But it works for the run. You don't really need... I mean, having plus attack is definitely better, but we can totally make this work. And the reason why I decided to run, pick this one is because I was just getting mon... Like, finding a drill bird for my backup, and I found a pretty decent one. Like, the IVs were good. Everything looked pretty solid, so I took that and ran. The good news is that with such a high IV for your speed, even though it does have a hindering nature for that uh, stat as well, like you were able to compensate by fighting the ninja kids, so that way you could get all those extra speed IVs, get those uh, the carbos as well. Yeah, uh, exactly. Generally, making sure that you're you're doing what's necessary to kind of close that gaps to make sure it is still runnable. Yeah. yeah. With lower I'm speed IV, I'd actually pick up more money items and sell them to buy Carbos. Uh, that's something we can do. The lowest speed IV you could run is, I think, 16 or so? Or maybe 20-something, actually. I don't know. Yeah. I don't have to top my head. But yeah, Jolly and Adamant are definitely the best natures for this. We just did a run to walk. I'm the only fight. run to walk of the run. Bruno, except not Bruno. I love Bruno with his pink hair. It's so great. <laughs> Shining Bruno. Shiny oh, Bruno. <laughs> oh, hey, it's an iron head of Thera. We got lucky and didn't have to use Earthquake since it didn't use uh, Iron Defense. And or it could draw, it could also, yeah. Yeah, use a uh, Play Rough and drop the uh, yep. the attack, or if it had to uh, Intimidate on top of it as well. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah there's a lot that the Mawile can do to kind of just wreck basic math, so there's definitely a, a element of good luck in that one. Yeah, if I had to use Earthquake on the Mawile, I'd have to Iron Head one of Sylveon or Gardevoir, because I do need a 6 Earthquake BB for the next fight. Yeah, we still are want not the healing between now and then. We could, but we're just not going to. Oh, I, I think I saw a very important number in Special Attack. I think I saw a 69 there. Nice. Oh. Nice. Dazzle Gleam? Is that an actual move, or is this a made-up move? It's Dazzling Gleam, but um, you can't put Dazzling Gleam into as a move in this game because it's too the name is too long. <laughs> so it's shortened. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be, once again, 
The tag is really laggy. Oh, it's it's scarf time. Indeed, it is. It's you scarf time. That. Actually, I could probably could have delayed the scarf, but that's fine. I'm also gonna men I'm also gonna candy here because I have an extra candy from before because I got the. I am gonna heal. I am gonna heal my health, by the way. And you needed a Carbos even with like all these candies and a choice scarf. Oh, oh man. There's a lot of really scuffed things that are going to be coming up here in a little bit. Having that speed is absolutely 100% valid. Gotcha. But hey, we're right, back Abra in... Has, uh, Abra has now served its purpose. Woo! Let's give, let's give it a clap. Okay, also, so I have to do... Oh, see, nice. One, two, oh, three, <laughs> four, five, six. All right, that's skip of the run. <laughs> and we don't have to do that again because now none of these guys will want to talk to me. Yep, we're we're now on our what? way to Victory Road. Huh? Yeah, you didn't think that we were just gonna skip trainers. We we're skipping the entirety of the rest of the game. Three badges into Elite Four. <laughs> no major major glitches. They said it's not major. <laughs> so I don't know what our, I don't know what the timer is saying right now, but it looks like I'm really underestimate, and that is true. However, the elite four in this game, spoiler alert, is yeah. really bad, and it could go well. It could also go really badly. So that's why there is a good estimate. A very very nice estimate. Yeah, it's um you're you're at one ten right now, ish. Um, We're not going to be. <laughs> no, there's there's a skarmory that we have some harsh words for. Skarmory in particular? Yes, there's there's a bit of a story about that Skarmory. Oh gosh. I'm gonna save here, it's probably not needed, but it's fine. Come on, come on. Pearl's, Pearl's just a bunch of earthquakes, right? Yeah, this fight's actually much better. I used to just keep the Lucky Egg on, and then I realized, why don't I just put the Choice Scarf on, and then I'll outspeed this pesky Doug Trio. So, if there's a pearl, is there a trainer called Diamond coming? There might be, but I don't fight them, if they exist. Oh. <laughs> nice. Is there a Platinum? I, I don't know. Or is there like a Brilliant or Shining, I guess? I mean, this pearl's looking pretty tarnished right now. This, this this really does feel like uh, BDSP with the repel tricks, if you think about it. You could do repel with BDSP. Yeah. The repel on, in like... Uh, who is it? Who is it? Uh, I can't see right here. Do not get it. It's fine. Uh, we're just getting flashbacks to all of the different Pokemon speedruns of all time. Like... Thrash, now it's time to talk about Gen 1, all that good stuff. I'm getting some, oh, yeah, some flash forwards to the run that I'm going to be doing with Gary J here in a moment. Like, there's there's a particularly angry Tauros that we have to deal with as well. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, so if you crit the Tauros, it ignores the Intimidate and you one shot it, and my PB got that, which is super good. Ah, uh, PSR Marathon flinched. Dang. Unlucky. That thing always uses fake out, unfortunately. It gives you a free heal turn, I guess. Kappa. Also, for some very bizarre reason, I can no longer use my scooter. Like, at in all? This, in this, yeah, in this floor, and I guess everywhere else in the, uh, It's just, it just doesn't work. That's so weird. What the heck? That's, That's pretty mean. weird. timing. I need to be careful. We need the it's cute fine, but it's okay. Running is still he pretty fast. He needs to continue fast. using his, uh, his best early 2000s dreams.
Alright, just gonna yeah. be pushing boulders for a bit. The, this looks amazing to just see the new sprite, like, tail wag, like, like a half cycle, I guess, and then just ram its head into a, a rock, I guess. This is the perfect time to run ads, so thank you, Taz. Look at that, <laughs> Repel is still up. There, now it's gone. So that looked really weird, and it is kind of weird, and we can't we don't can't really take advantage of it, but the really fun side effect of that, of the text box being up there, is spinners will stop spinning. So you can't really do it, but you can actually... There's um like the spinner we passed earlier, you can actually sort of line up a repel in such a way that it runs out while you're pushing a boulder and then you can just pass the trainer without even having to wait for a return and do a bag of <laughs> or something. Uh, it's kind of a fun little party trick but it's not really viable for the speed run. Alright, we got a little trainer gauntlet to navigate around here. Just making sure you're not autopiloting, that's all they're there for. And we're good! Woo! On our All way. Right. Oh, we got the scooter back. Oh, I have an extra repel. Yeah, I can use a scooter here, but... Welcome to Lunar Plateau. Lunar Plateau. Oh! Alright, really let's bring the rest is, um... of the team back. Elite 4 is gonna be something here in a second. Oh, and we get to see our, our good friend Glaceon. Big specs for the Glaceon. That's cool. I don't really know what those are. But all right. Oh, it boosts uh, attack. On, it boosts the special attack or the attack on on Eevee specifically. So it's kind of useless now. Oh, it's a Glaceon. Bye, Hilda. Or never mind. We're following you. No. What? All oh, right. Here we go. Here. Let's go. We've got a juicy coming up for you right here. It's time for the ice fight. Yeah, the, level tw the lower level Pokemon are for sacrifices, um, for very specific reasons. Um, we also I have an Intimidate Mon for, for Intimidate, which will come into play in this fight. Okay, no uh, Snow Warning. If there's a little delay before I can attack, the Ninetales has Snow Warning, and because of that, this fight is actually a little bit faster, because Snow Warning stays up, the Pale stays up for the whole fight in, in that case. I'm going to hit this thing, I hope I flinch. I did not, and it did not miss, so now my no. Excadrill is going to die. Remember, no. I have the Choice Scarf equipped currently. So this is kind of necessary. I'm going to bring in my Snubble and intimidate this thing. Uh, okay. So the big reason why the the faint there was not necessarily as bad as it could be is, and Iron kind of alluded to this, um, we do have that choice scarf on. We don't want to just keep using Iron Head repeatedly. Uh, we do want to be able to use Earthquake against these Ice Mon, so that way we can obliterate them as efficiently as possible. Ow. <laughs> There's... That hurts. So I raised my defense and lowered its attack, so it does about 70 damage. But I am going to have to heal once. E even with uh, the attack down and the defense up, it's still a super effective hit, and it still really hurts. Still hits like a truck. Uh, Iron Head's not good against uh, Cloyster. It uh, turns it neutral because of the water being not very effective against, uh, uh, steel not being very effective against water. And same thing yeah. with the next Pokemon coming out. Pretty good. Which is a range. Uh, 92%. Why would you say that out loud right now? <laughs> it's gonna be It's not though. Commentator Curse if he's the one saying it. <laughs> the Lapras you need to Earthquake as well, because you just can't use Iron Head on that. See? Free. Absolutely free. Yep. So, uh, a few things can go wrong there, namely crits. Oh, shiny! I shiny. couldn't really tell it was a shiny. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Frostlass? Yeah. I <laughs> can't really tell the shiny part all that easily. 
Like, I just saw the, spring, the sparkles and I'm just like, oh, it's a shiny. Wow. Uh, all Elite Four members have at least one shiny. Okay. Okay, first try did. Easy. That's super good. The next one is also the gross bad. one. <laughs> All right. So if Koga or if Koga was replaced by Bruno, does this mean Bruno got replaced by Koga? Ah, uh, no. Uh, no. Don't forget Lucky Egg. Yep. Thank you. I'm also gonna do something that is. I actually did this in my PB, but if it makes the fight a little bit safer, I'll max revive you. And I'm going to take off the Choice Scarf and put on the Lucky Egg. Oh boy. Uh, this, this is a, well, it's a Gen 3 hack, but it uses like later Gen, like Gen 8, Gen 9 mechanics. Oh shoot, it's a DJ. Oh boy. DJ Pac-Man. He's actually on the uh, the boat, but we don't, we don't talk to him. That kind of okay. looks like uh, the blue sprite a little bit. Okay, that Hagron looks so small there. Oh, shout out to Skarmory. Skarmory, best bird. Alright, so I'm gonna swap in the, the Snubble here. This, you don't have to do this, but lowering its attack can be beneficial. Or even feeding it a Snubble for uh, its enjoyment. I'm also gonna be sending in. And I can't, I actually am very sad to say I do do this. This shiny I'm doesn't look shiny. I'm setting up hail on purpose. Yep. So this, this hail is absolutely 100% necessary. There are oh. several mon that uh, this trainer has that can have sturdy. And I think one of them will. Like, it's guaranteed. Yeah. Ideally, it just uses Air Slash now because I've lowered its attack. So it's going to either use Air Slash or Steel Wing. We do not want Steel Wing. That, that created an incident previously. We're not going to talk about that. No, we are not. It has some interesting side effects. Oh, yeah. And so because it's Snow Warning Hail, it stays up for the entire fight, which I absolutely need. This is what, that snow warning hail is absolutely what makes this entire fight bearable in certain senses. Everybody has to suffer through the hail, including us. But hey, look at that HP. Nice. I wouldn't have gotten that without the hail. It's it's either we suffer through the hail, or hail we it, suffer through hail the damage reset. Forty-two. Huh? Yeah, I have to heal. Yeah, hail does eleven. I could heal later, but I'm just good. I and I should maybe do it later, but because there's a mod I can heal on, that's pretty safe. If if you get a crit, it's, yeah, it's that's 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 the, that's the problem there. Yep. Hi, Roost. Okay, we're gonna just do a little uh, stalling here. That does so much damage for something that really shouldn't be be doing anything to a Skarmory. Um. This Skarmory will not die unless it takes some chip damage, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. Oh, I'll just rock slide to show you. Okay, I missed. That's fine. <laughs> Has more chip damage. That crit is okay. But everything I'm doing here makes sense, okay? So trust me, guys. Let him I, 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 I have routed this very extensively. Let him cook. Let me cook. There we there go. There we okay. go. All right. All right, wait, now we're good. Now we're fine. Yeah, that is the literal worst thing that could happen. Well, um, maybe not. But we'll be. It'll be. It'll be okay. Oh my gosh, the thing looks so much bigger than okay. on the DJ Pac-Man sprite. <laughs> and it's shiny too. Um, and yeah. So you might be wondering why the heck did I set up hail? Well, first of all, the Skarmory you need to. It needs to take some chip damage from earthquake or from rocks from hail to die to a rock slide. Uh, Steel Wing is bad because it raises defense, so that's also important. Um, so we want to avoid that as much as possible, and that's why I switched in the Snubble. In addition, three Pokémon in this fight have a 50-50 chance of having Sturdy. 
including the Skarmory, but two of them, the Aggron and the Magnazone coming up, um, can. And if the Aggron specifically rolls sturdy, it one-shots. <laughs> so we don't want to deal with that. Makes sense. Ferrothorn is guaranteed. Oh, we I have ranges in my notes for plus four, but I went to plus six, so we were fine. Oh, the X items go twice for yeah, two. Yeah, they're time. plus. It's two four six. Oh, yeah. We haven't mentioned that. Yep. Thankfully, <laughs> it would be really bad if we if there is standard. Okay, now that the fight's over, the, the multiple Skarmory plus three defenses from Steelwing that had been previously in another marathon are completely gone. Yep. You can kind of make one defense boost with, from Steelwing worth, or, or make it work, but if you get two, it's pretty much over, so... Just yeah. I want to. I want to give you like ultimate ups for still trying to make it happen during that attempt with the plus <laughs> two, and then the plus three happened just to be just like, no, this is you are going to reset. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So we saw a couple really weird setups. This fight is probably the least weird, other than the yeah. champion. But we'll get this to that later. Is the gambling addict, apparently. Shouts to that Umbreon that doesn't look like this a normal Umbreon. This is Karen? Ashley. Question mark? <laughs> the gambling addict version of Karen. Take out is good. The claw. Oh, that's a okay. green. No? Knockoff is good. Okay, so it has Confuse Ray. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Knockoff is good. The non critting move crit, and I died. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, you don't have the like flashback thing when you have to reload in. No, I guess not. That's true. Uh, getting so getting the safety good. saves, even, just in case on all of these fights, is still absolutely 100% valid because you can never yeah. know when you're going to get a stray crit from something that definitely should not have. This is going to be the last fight that we're doing without the choice... No, we got we have one more choice scarf, and then yeah. that's the last that will be seen. So yeah, full restore to heal, and also just deal with the Confuse Ray from earlier. And should be good now. Should be off the races. Yep, we're fine here. And uh, we get weather effects be. once again here from Tyranitar. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't affect us negatively. True. The rest of the fight should be fairly not cursed. <laughs> should just be good. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Always, always have to say that caveat of should be because then you invite the RNG gods to smite you. Plus defenses all over the place. Yeah, even if these mons have plus defense, uh, it's, they're guaranteed to die. Yeah, the sand does not help me. I have Sand Veil, which actually is might come into play on in the next fight, but it's generally not that uh, useful on the run. I hate sand. It's coarse and rough. And I was waiting for it. I was, I was hoping it wasn't going to be <laughs> sad, but I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have two more fights, Ranger. Um, I could die to either of them, so, um, yeah. Still uh, also, sub estimate pace. The last one is much, much safer. This The next fight could could go poorly. How yeah, sub estimate? Well, we're going to have to find out. So my PB in this is a 137, 137 but we're not going to get that. <laughs> 
I mean, you're at 128 right now. Yeah. Yeah, that, these fights are not going to be done that quickly. But yeah, no, one, sub 145 is doable. Yeah, oh Hilda especially can yeah, be auto -walk uh, particularly feels so angry. Slow. This auto walk is awful. Oh, hey, Hilda. Hilda is the champion. I'm gonna use this. Oh, wait, this is champ? No, this is not the champ. This is the list is Lance. Woo, Snubbles is coming back. Let's go. So the interesting thing about this fight is we change what happens depending on the third poke that gets sent out. What? Yes. The third yep. mon is random, and there's one mon that I would much prefer to see, but it's very unlikely. Uh, so the, the abilities in this game, I think, are... The creator kind of took some liberties and made certain abilities, gave certain abilities to certain Pokemon, so it may not be specific to Vanilla. Wow, that Snorlax looks so small. <laughs> okay, so Choice Scarf to outspeed this thing. Goodbye, Chandler. And, uh, yep. We're gonna have a fun time now, because what's better than seeing one Excadrill during an Elite Four? Seeing a second! Ooh. Oh, Hilda's just gonna send a bunch of Gen 5 pokes, huh? That's what's gonna happen. Okay, and I got the range. That was 85% to die. Let's go. It's a fire blast. <laughs> Pretty wow. much. Wow. <laughs> I did not realize... Uh, if I, if I was level 60, that would be perfect, but no. Okay, right. so now I'm going to switch, because I have the Choice Scarf equipped. So, let's send an Abra. Abra. This is the one that's not ideal to see. No, it's not. But it's okay. We'll be fine. The, the optimal one would be the Snorlax would come out, and then... Uh, set up and raffle stop occurs. I'm gonna start yeah, setting I'm gonna up one more again. This instead, yeah, well, we're fine. The lance is now not um... optimal. Oh no, we're fine. We're, we have speed. We have speed. Um, but we're gonna have to heal. Um, X scissor. Yeah, that's the scary thing. So it this thing has it has the chance of having chlorophyll, and it also has sunny day. So you can kind of guess how poorly this fight can go <laughs> if you get really unlucky and your speed is low enough. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch again because uh, I'm actually gonna. Leafeon is perfect for this, by the way. I'm actually really glad I kept I brought in Leafeon. I want to intimidate the Ferrothorn, but now it's gonna, Ferrothorn will very likely knock out Snubble. Bye bye. I'm just gonna heal. I'm just gonna send in Leafeon so I can heal Excadrill. This makes sense. I was gonna say, I, don't, I didn't remember Leafeon being in the party uh, during the previous era. Yeah. My notes say not to bring it in, but I brought it in for safety. I, absolutely. I mean, given. We know what could happen. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do a little bit of setup on this thing. We're going to use the next defense. Okay, Sandstorm is great, because now I have a chance to dodge his moves a little bit more likely. Uh, thanks, Darby, buddy. Sandstorm is on. Okay, never mind. Still getting smacked. Ooh, I have two X attacks. That should be fine, though. And then I do this. All right, now we're done. Woo! The fight. Not the run, but the fight. <laughs> Ranger having a mild panic attack at hearing done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shiny Snorlax looks like a regular Snorlax. I'm, I'm just here. I'm just here in the Elite Four, just raiding the shinies at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get a couple shinies on the next fight. Spoiler alert. Next fight? Are we not done? No, it's, no, we have the champion. Oh yeah. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, we're gonna save again. This fight's generally okay, but we saw what happened on Ashley, so. The the fight is generally okay, but also we haven't seen this person's party in like four Thank you, Ranger. fights because we keep skipping them. Have a good night, Shout Ranger. Out. Team. Thank you, Ranger. Have a good night. All right, so we we haven't fought this guy in a while. He was the first person in the run we fought, and we are he is also the last. We skipped he's a bunch of times. He's all grown up though. now. He's all grown up, and that's a really fat uh, Jolteon head. Oh yeah, he should <laughs> have Jolteon. That's actually he should have a Porion, but I loaded it back up. So <laughs> that's the reason for that. We were supposed to do vape, not Dragon, like this. Dragon dance. It's fine. I'm actually gonna pop an X defense. Just gonna be dragon dancing. This is what I'm a little worried about. Ah, yeah. uh, it's just loading wow, up on it? dragon dances. It it's wants just to try to do up. what you're trying to do to it. <laughs> you're not. Oh, okay, it's just gonna keep spamming. <laughs> Alright, well. Start swinging away. That's fine. Okay. Oh, I was, um, I was clenching on that one. There. Because I loaded the backup, and the backup does not have the bonds that he should have. So normally he should have uh, Torterra and Delphox, but instead he has this thing. Which does have Mock Punch, but I'm not at a low enough HP for it to matter, and we're fine. Woo. So Torterra and Delphox are much safer because Infernape has Mach Punch, uh, and Greninja, which is the other Mon, has Quick Attack. Or Aqua Jet. We noticed, we found that out in my marathon run. That I did before. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, mildly uh, terrifying. Yep. This but a flesh wound. Yeah, so the... The bonds that he has depend on which Eevee I picked on the table. I picked the Eevee on the right side, so he should have Torterra, um, Delphox, and Vaporeon. But instead he has these things. Whoa, a Celebi. Which is fine. By Celebi? I think the yeah. Celebi was, uh, for lore purposes, supposed to be like interacted with at some point in time with your rival, since... You're still potentially trying to not be a Mew and go back to being a human. Uh, uh, that's lore stuff, and we don't care about lore. <laughs> also, shouts to the Jolteon shiny. It's kind of a gross puke green color, but you know what? That's okay. Also, I believe with the Delphox, Portera, the Porion combo, I do not level up to 62. Time loss. So time loss. Right. And also because I did a super effective earthquake, that is also time loss. But we still won. Woo! Yep. So, so it will be the on time. Yeah, it'll be the typical Hall of Fame here that you see in Fired Leaf Green, and when the fade out happens after you see the like in-game time stuff, then that'll be time. But if we were behind the mar in the marathon, we are now definitely back on track. <laughs> Oh, we're, well, we're 50 minutes ahead of where we should be. Woo! Let's go! It's just that easy. Even with the tech issues we had at the start of the run, which... So, nobody, who's Nobody next? knows about, because it was behind the scenes, <laughs> but... So, we got we got a great runner coming up next, if uh, if you want to talk about it, Almira. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Infinite Fusion, race uh, between myself and Gary J Games. We're going to run all the way to uh, beat gold for oh, okay. the uh, classic version of the game. So you're going to see a lot of Frankenmons doing a bunch of weird stuff. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. well, it's a pretty great, pretty wild run. Definitely recommend well, sticking around for it. Beauti beautifully cursed, and also Okay, Gary coming up on J time! Is... Wait. We're coming up on time here. Tech, there's going to be a fade out. Right at this uh, point here, and time. GGS. Thank you, thank you, thanks everyone for watching. That was a lot of fun. It uh, it went it went pretty well, I think. Uh, I got minus attack EV. I like just got wrecked by a horn drill on an Excadrill in the in the in the cave, but I had a backup, so we're good. That was that RTA was, really was uh, and one down. One thirty-eight twelve.
Oh, damn. That's Let's good. Let's go. All right. That is close to PB, but it, this would not have been a PB run because of um, the backup. I loaded the backup. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, it's fire ahead now. <laughs> yeah. Both <both that. laughs> But yeah, shoutouts to, uh, I guess, Randall and uh, Alimra for joining me, both of whom had, have very little to no experience with this, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, happy how do you guys here. here? Yeah, no, it was really fun watching this and helping out. Hope everybody in chat had a good time, or anyone watching the VOD. You, you said last time that you were impressed with the research that I did based off of your notes and your videos, so I had to make a, a second appearance to <laughs> appearances that I knew what I was doing about the last commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, yeah. I just show up to just be like, hi. <laughs> what is going on but yeah <laughs> um Shouts yeah so and also yeah sh some shout outs to i guess a couple folks in the fan game community lucky typhlosion and hunar who kind of helped with bits and pieces with the routing uh some small suggestions so those guys helped quite a bit um yeah and then uh yeah shout out to the little fan games community we have a limer here who's gonna be running next infinite fusions and uh, garf earlier um both these guys have contributed quite a bit to the community and as well as a number of other people uh, so definitely recommend if you're into the fan game ROM hack speedrunning. It's a small community and there's quite a few games that are available and not too many people have run them, but lots of fun stuff there if you're interested in trying something new. Definitely recommend it. Yeah, absolutely uh, echoing that. Uh, it's it's just been a blast being a part of the community. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. By the way, if you haven't seen the uh, Pokemon Infinity run that Garfield did, uh, it was an absolute bang and run. I watch that one back because I was I stepped out for a bit. But all right, yeah, well uh, we have a bit of a bit of a. I guess we're gonna have a little bit of a longer tech setup session because I had, was well under my estimate, which I could have just chain died to all these fights. But you got to be better safe than sorry. So uh, if, make sure you get up and stretch, get some water, get some food, and settle in for some more great runs coming up. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs>